Hey guys, welcome to Wagwan Apps and today we're going to be looking at how to uh, install watch faces on your Android Wear watch. So I have a HTC 10 um, with a slightly cracked, uh, hardened screen protector, but it's all good. I'll get the job done. And I have an LG Urbane W150 um, running right now. They're both connected. Um, and we're going to start by just having a look at what uh, kind of watch faces you can get on Google Play and if you wanted one how would you set it up to be displayed on your watch so the first thing you need obviously with any Android Wear watch is the Android Wear app which is this one here well let me go to uh, my end screen so you can see it a bit more clearly here we go so we've got this is all my Android Wear stuff installed on my phone so you can see I've got and the Android Wear app now you simply have to go to Google Play to the Play Store, I should say. Type in Android Wear like that, and then you get a list of compatible apps that match that name. And you can see the top one um, by Google Inc. You can see that, right? The publisher is Google Inc. Now this is the Android Wear companion app. You have to have this installed to allow your watch to be paired to your phone. So you know that way your messages get pushed to your watch and all sorts of other stuff and all the other fancy features so you have to have that installed and as you can see I've got that installed right okay once it's installed you can see it says on here it says uh, LG Urbane 465 F is connected I've got quite a few different watches I've got two Urbanes a smartwatch 3 Sony smartwatch 3 and I've got the G watch R um, so I've got a few watches and um, but right now we're going to just use this LG Urbane as a demo so you can see it's running right now if I touch the screen there you go it's got a, a watch face running at the moment and once you uh, install the companion app and you do all the pairing and all that jazz and what we will do is put a video up on how to do the pairing it's not that hard but um, we'll run you through that so keep an eye out for that um, it'll be part of our basic series so you can see I've got a list of watch faces and some of these will be installed by default so, for example, the Chrono Silver, this one here, if I tap it, it, it comes as standard with the LG Urbane. So, for example, let's have, a look, let's have a closer look. Here you go. So, this is the Chrono Silver watch face, and it's basically on all the LG images all over the net and all over the websites. This is the default watch face for this watch. And you can see it going into ambient mode, right? So there's quite a few default ones. There's a few ones that I have already installed. You know, there's a lot of Google, a lot of Google Fit, Google. There's a hiking one. There's, I don't know, there's loads. There's loads and loads and loads. Um, and you can see I've got a few custom ones installed, which I will run you through in a minute. So let's say we want we want to search for some watch faces. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back on here. And we're going to type in Android Wear. Oh look, Android Wear watch face, you can see it there, it's already in my search. So if I tap that, it will give me a list of watch faces available. So here we go. Now, some are free, some you have to buy. So it depends on what you want and how badly you want it and if you're willing to pay for it. Um, I bought quite a few because they're very, very good. Some of the, um, some of the, um, you know, the publishers, their watch faces are of an amazing quality in terms of resolution, in terms of clarity, in terms of... Um, you know whatever in terms of everything so there's it, it, some of them are pretty cool um and for example rich face i've used rich face quite a bit their, their their watch faces are amazing i'm not sure if they're on this list but anyway rich face are pretty good there's quite a few others so we'll pick one i mean you can see i've got weather watch face installed already which i'll, I'll demo in a separate video um, which i love by the way i've got it installed on all my watches um, because it's basic it's clear it's concise you don't have to like think about what you're seeing on the screen it's obvious which is one of the things i love about it so let's say let's pick a free one because i don't want to buy one right now uh, and i mean, you can see there's hundreds look i've even got watch face military digital by rich face themselves actually let's see if we can find another rich face one um, and these i mean even this watch face is wicked so you can see me scrolling so let's pick a free one so um for the LG Urbane, let's go with the top one, look, Shield Watch. So I've not seen this one, right? So once you find the one you want, <clears throat> okay, so you can see, I've, I can see it right there. Then you say install on your phone, boom, 
so we're going to install it okay takes a few seconds to download uh, 7.97 makes it's not that big once it's installed what will happen is is the Android Wear app will automatically install it onto your watch okay because it knows that this it knows that this is um, it knows that this is a you know an Android Wear related app or a watch face is very specific so um, let's get through all right so there's very spe specialized settings for that watch face uh, once it's installed so we have to probably wait a minute or two for it to install so while it does that we'll just have a look at what else we have so um, there's very specific you know like a lot of these watches you could people say uh, for fitness trackers and all that so there's watch faces which are tailored to that for example like the Google Fit Digital one which um, is Google's own watch face it gets installed with most watches you can see the, the screen switch on the, on the, on the phone I can also see I've got a message saying something all right no thank you okay I was hoping it would say uh, watch face installed um, and there's lot I mean there's this new one with that that you can do with the school together and what it is 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 anybody else with together app installed on their watch um, they say they can send each other messages via the Google Cloud such as images and pictures and icons and all that fancy stuff which is pretty cool so we're just going to wait for this watch face to install. Hopefully it will in a bit. We'll go back to the weather watch face, which is one of my favorites. Um, maybe not on this watch specifically because of the silver. It doesn't really go with the silver the silver case, but it's probably one of the best um, informational watch faces around. Okay. So look, now you can see it says, um, it says, in shield install touch watch face to set. So we can say okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set that watch face. You see, so all we did was we went to Google Play, we picked the one we wanted, and we installed it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find it in our list. There it is Shield. So they're in alphabetical order. So you can see this one here, Shield. So we're going to tap that, and then hopefully, oh, maybe I tapped the wrong one. There we go. Boom. It's live. Let's have a closer look at it. Now, rich face, watch faces are always of a top quality. So you can see that that looks pretty sick. And you can see in ambient mode, it switches to the two hands. And I hate that. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly configure that and turn it off. So we go to, you can see now when I selected shield on my phone, it's got a little, um, you know, a tools icon. So if I double tap it, if I tap it, it will go to the settings for that watch face. Okay. Um, and most watch faces have custom options and stuff like that so I'm hoping there's one saying full ambient mode all right so if you want full ambient mode you have to pay for it basically um, and what that means is is you can see what that basically means is, is that the watch face will always be like this so even in ambient mode it, when it goes into like a standby state you won't see just two hands you'll see the full display um, I can show you that actually with another watch face. Let's have a look and see what else we've got. So we have um, so let's go here. Look at the digital military digital military one, right? And you can see it's pink, right? So I'm going to configure it and watch in standby mode. I have look full ambient setting is on. So look in standby, you can see it's switched to that. But if I turn full ambient mode off. You see, it's just, it's just giving you the digits, the current time. If I put it on, I get a more detailed display. So the watch is always displaying like that in standby, which is pretty cool. So if you want full ambient display, in this case, you have to kind of pay for it um, for that for the for the shield watch face. But there you go. So it's pretty straightforward to install to install watch faces. Like I said, I got loads and loads. There's loads on Android uh, on Google Play on the Play Store. So you just go there, pick ones you like. Some are free. Some you have to pay for. Um, the ones that you have to pay for, I would say, uh, look at the quality of them. If they're if they're good and the detail is really good and you love the way it looks, um, go for it. They're probably worth it. Anyway, hit us up on the messages. Let us know what you think. Uh, if there's any watch faces you want us to review, give us a shout and we will get back to you. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next video.